let me first tell you this. Jesse, you ask you first of all, you can ask me any question you want to ask me. Now the main thing is this. You were saying you want to know the motive, the reason why. I will tell you this. The man behind all of this, as you already know, is Lee Daniels. Mm. However, Lee Daniels chose Jesse as the fall guy because Jesse is the most popular out of the whole cast. Jesse has been on The View. Jesse has been on Rachel Ray. Jesse is even part of Michelle Obama's Get Fit campaign. Mm. So Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels knows Jesse is the most likable. However, it did fail because Jesse is working out with two of those brothers, Nigerian brothers, but it's not just Jesse involved. Unfortunately, Taraji P., I'm sorry, come to the front of the line. Mm-hmm. She, too, is involved. Terrence Howard, come to the front of the line. All of them know about this. Mm-hmm. Now, some key I'm going to drop on you is that Jesse was never physically beat up. You saw his face. That was makeup. Mm. Secondly, Jesse had two objects stuffed in each cheek. He was never attacked. He had a makeup job right after the two Nigerian brothers, quote unquote, met up with him to attack him. Mm -hmm. He had a makeup job done and Mm -hmm. he had a makeup artist put objects in each cheek. Mm. So the attack never, never even happened. Another thing is that when the Chicago police went to the two Nigerian brothers' home, They found a magazine with letters ripped out and Mm. cut out. I could not even get myself to believe that Jesse would do that. But Jesse and Lee Daniels sent a threatening letter to Fox 5 News. They sent it themselves. Okay. Now, I we have to say allegedly, though, mind. because we have about 1,200 people watching, okay. bitch, and I can't have them take to my channel down because they don't even upload my videos okay. right no. after. So no. this is all okay. alleged. Fine. No, you're right. Okay, allegedly, allegedly, Lee Daniel and Jesse Smollett sent a threatening letter with the F word, guy, N word, this mm. to Fox 5. Mm. It was allegedly. Lee Daniels, and the reason why this happened is because Lee Daniels, I'm sorry, I have done some work indirectly, but Lee Daniels, honey, you're very, very, very slimy. That's why Dame Dash got in your face and said, you owe me $2 million on camera. Okay. And Lee Daniels did not know what to say, but Lee Daniels is right now at the top of Black Hollywood, and he's doing whatever he can to stay on top. Mm-hmm. And what I will say for the, with the Nigerian brothers, shame on you to those Nigerian brothers because I'm Nigerian. And people saying stupid things like, oh, well, they don't have an accent. You don't have to have an African accent just if you were born in Africa. I, don't, I was not born in Africa, and I can do a very thick Nigerian accent if I want to. I can put it on and turn it off. So I know we have to be smarter than that. But Jesse was never alleged. Jesse was never attacked. I'm sorry, it's hard to say alleged for that because he was not attacked. I know, he was not attacked. I have a friend that works on the cast. He was not attacked. Jesse, it was a it's a makeup job, and he had something in his cheeks. Taraji P Henson, mm. the cast, Terrence Howard, they're all involved. They are all involved, all of them. Hold on, so let me pull up that ready. picture. Uh, um, let me, wait, keep yeah, talking while up. I pull up pull the picture. Up. Okay, it, if you look at the picture, even if you see him two days after that, it was all gone. It, I've, I've seen better makeup jobs, but I have a friend that works on the cast, and I know. So what I will also say is that those two Nigerian brothers, shame on you, first of all, being smutted out and slutted out mm. by Lee Daniels and Jesse Smollett. Shame on you, first of all. Those two brothers, they're Yoruba. That's the tribe that they're part of. That's the Yoruba tribe. These two brothers will do anything for money. Sleeping with Lee Daniels, sleeping with Jesse Smollett. Guys, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So what, are you alleging that the two brothers are sleeping with Jesse Smollett and Lee Daniels? Yes. Yes, I, yes, yes. Uh, First of all, Armand, would I lie to you? I would not lie to you, Armand. And it's very shameful. I better not catch 
both of them, Ola and Abel, I better not catch both of them out in the Nigerian community with women trying to get married because your spot will be blown. Don't even, if you guys want fame to that degree, fine. But when you flew to Nigeria the same day this alleged attack happened, you should have stayed there because you came right back and the police were waiting for you at O'Hare Airport at Chicago, okay? And that's why you spilled the beans, because you're not going to disgrace your Nigerian family, because Nigerian parents, they don't play. So I knew you came out and had to tell the truth. Jesse paid you guys some money and told you he'd pay you guys the rest when everything blew over. Lee Daniels is the one who put all of this together. But like you why? guys are messing with Lee. Because the ratings of Empire and Star... Both mm. of Lee Daniels' shows, Star and Empire, both of them are dropping severely. So the reason they chose Jesse, knowing Jesse's the most likable, everybody will feel bad. There's a lot of racial tension going on. And unfortunately, Lee Daniels is not that smart because he's writing this like he's writing a story on Empire. Yes, Jesse, and it seems what, just what, like a story out of Empire. And then you know what's also yes. why I kind of, like, it's it's like, okay, I do believe you because a piece of this, when the brothers were speaking out, the brother, the brother actually said he's not sure how Jesse got the scratch on his face because in, in TMZ's reporting, he said that he didn't even hit him that hard. It was a weak hit. So he's not sure where Jesse got the scratch from. I, I, but you know what, though? I've been trying to call you for the, over the whole week before TMZ released it. But now bits and pieces are starting to come out. The brothers barely even touched Jesse. Jesse, no offense. I'm sorry, Jesse. Jesse, you fucked both of them, okay? Mm. You don't even want them to hit you. So they, uh, they went up to you, made it look like it was a little scuffle. None of them even touched your face. And then they said, okay, we good? We good? All right. Then they dipped. They bounced. So the fact that you even sat in front of Robin Roberts and said what you said, you need to know when to pull back. You have to, like, honestly, Armand, get ready to watch the life, the rise and fall of Jesse Smollett, true Hollywood story. This boy has eight other siblings, Smollett siblings. I love all of them. Mm -hmm. But Journey Smollett, she did Temptations with Tyler Perry. I don't even know what his older sister is thinking right now. Like, if you have the last name Smollett, you're doomed. Well, no, because so, remember he honestly, said, I'm which one is the other sister? I don't know which one it is, but he said one of his sisters. Jernay Smollett. Well, isn't, didn't yes, he say that Jernay she Smollett. was the Olivia Pope? Like, she was like his Olivia Pope. Let's, but, but see, that's what I'm talking about. So no, is she in on it, too? Olivia. No, no, she's not. She's not. She's not. She hasn't. only thing the family did was release a statement and say, we support support our brother. That was unfortunately almost two weeks ago. I haven't heard from Journey Smollett. I mean, honestly, Journey Smollett is married. I suggest you drop the last name Smollett and change it to your husband's last name. That's his older sister. She's a beautiful girl. She did Tyler Perry's Temptations movie. I really feel bad for her because I don't want this to mess up her career as well. And so, and I honestly, just have to be honest with you because yeah. I know where you are, but. And I, I believe, and I don't know if you, you want me to put it out there. That's why I'm going to let you do it if you want to. Um, we have about 1,400 yeah. people watching. Uh, people want to know, what is your connection? Like, how do you know this information? I think you are the one that told me you work in TV, but on a different side of I, it. Yes, I, no, I work in the sports industry right now. I okay. have a friend that works as a one of the side makeup artists, works as a production on Empire. Okay. Wow. So, honestly, so did your friend do the makeup? Chicago, did your friend do the no, makeup? No, she didn't do the makeup. No, okay. she didn't do the makeup. But she, one of her colleagues is one of the makeup artists. Mm. So, honestly, I mean, a lot of people are saying, I'm still hearing people saying, I still need all the information to come out. Many people are still saying they still want to hear all the information. But what confuses me is that what more do you need to hear? Mm -hmm. What more do you need to hear? If you have common sense, you can put two and two together. The only thing that hasn't quite been released yet, people don't know that the, that was not a, a beat-up session. It's a makeup session. Mm. People don't know that Lee Daniels. People don't know that Lee Daniels is the mastermind behind all of this. People, and the thing that's really hurtful, Taraji P. Henson, 